Quickly before we get into the video, I'm adding, adding this in post recording. This week I'm editing the video on my phone through iMovie. I've never tried this before. Please do let me know if you prefer the old version of unedited or you like the new version with edited clips added in that pop up showing you like sold, the price I can get for things um, and maybe some pop up text. I don't know how I'm going to edit it, but just let me know which way you prefer and I'll keep doing it either way. Hey everyone, Josh here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have Sunday's Car Booked Haul video to share with you all. And this week we spent £44. It seems like a lot, but it's just because I spent £40 on a big box of marble and onyx eggs, which we'll get to in just a moment. Now, to start with, I grabbed some Korean Sunny Stoneware mugs. I have one of these in my shop at the moment. I think it's this one, actually. For £14.99 plus postage. It's got a couple of watches, so ideally I'm going to say there's about you know, £10 or so profit per mug here. And I got three of them for £1. Always keep an eye out for these, they sell quite well. They have a very cottage core kind of vibe to them. They're kind of sweet. Now, filler bag. It's a very, I'm looking at here going, hmm, it's very hodgepodge this week. It's very, a bit of everything. I mostly raided the china and the ceramics. And there's a couple of mugs. Of course, I grabbed some Pyrex. This is, I believe, a soup bowl or a very small casserole. I think it's soup bowl. Six or seven pounds for that one, not a whole lot. Dalton, every day. Side plates, bread plates. I'm not entirely sure the technical name for a lot of this stuff. Uh, 1996 Cinnabar is the pattern name. Because I'm going to be saying these as a set of four. Probably for around the £15 mark, maybe a little less, depending on comps, obviously. But yeah, if it's if I've got four of them, I generally sell them as a bundle of four. If I have less than four, I do them singly. I just find it easier that way. Something else I grabbed, and I'm really not sure on, are these little stainless steel shallow dishes, but they have animals on. So that's got a bear, a couple with a child bear. This one's got a dog. And they are by Viners or Viners of Sheffield. And it's the, this one's Ponsby Poodle. I don't know if they're kids' bowls or they're animal bowls. I'm assuming they're kids. And this one here is of a carnival elephant. Sorry, I'm looking at the camera weird because I'm trying to make sure you can see the print. And this one is marked uh, Denmark. So if they're kids' bowls, I assume they're vintage. Maybe some value, maybe not threw them in because I've never seen stuff like that before. I need to put that there. I've got some teacups as well and saucers. A Toronto saucer that's going into a bundle. I've got some teacups with no saucers, so that will get rid of that. I've got two Indies Johnson Brothers spiraled plates. Five are each, usually. Another four of the Royal Dalton Cinnabar. May end up bundling these with them. Again, it's all, all about the comps, all about checking comps when it comes to spares and replacements. A vintage Ashdale bunny mug. Not heard of Ashdale before, but the pattern is rather sweet, so we grab that. Again, minimum price of fiver. Mugs usually go for ten. This just reminds me of uh, Weatherspoon's plates for some reasons. Uh, Churchill... This is a more modern one, no pattern name, but it's like a ditzy floral. Some very odd looking Archipole French, are they like Irish coffee mugs? I think they are, I have to double check. They don't sit properly in their holders either. They're a little bit of a wonk, but I just threw them in. They're a little different. We'll see if they're worth anything. Now these are one of the more uh, higher value items. It's a Royal Dalton Clarendon. The three of these will go for about £18, the little fruit bowls. So that was a good pickup. Again, it's very much throw it in at the day, on the day and just research it later for a lot of the stuff. I, generally I go, oh, Royal Dalton, Churchill, Eternal Bow, just throw it in, as, as long as it's a name I recognise. More Churchill, the Georgian collection, more modern dishwasher and microwave safe, but a nice set of three there. Uh, kind of like a pink transfer where uh, 
dessert bowls, a decorative wall plate by Royal Dalton. This one is going for about eight pounds, another one that I researched. Some Jaeger wool. Now I know Jaeger is kind of a more luxury-ish brand possibly, if I'm saying that correctly. I thought I've never seen Jaeger wool before. Sadly, it's not worth a whole lot. Luckily though, there's no Jaeger wool on this specific color on eBay, so I kind of have market control. I'm gonna stick up for a fiver. We'll see what happens. I also looked these two up. They are uh, British Anchor England Ironstone. This one is Oldie Country Castles. Oh, that way has a castle on it. Again, transferware kind of looking. And this one is Coaching Taverns by Royal Tudor Wear. These go really well in pubs and cottages, so they're quite sought after for decorative homeware. Grabbed two, and it looks like I might have chipped one slightly, or if it, it might have been like that. 24 karat gold, Greek tourist pieces. It's just the 24 karat gold that makes these worth a little bit. And I do mean a little bit, they're not overly expensive. And another one there. Uh, that one is Takusi from Machio, Machio Greece. Handmade. Yeah, they're only worth about £7 each. Sometimes they're worth 20 It entirely depends on the gold content in them. Let's do some jelly moulds. Now, last week I believe I picked up that jelly mould, Christmas. This week there was the same branded one but a different pattern. So that's a nice easy Christmas bundle. And then I got a Star Lollipop jelly mould or chocolate mould. <laughs> and there are uh, the candy sticks that go in them as well in the bag somewhere. So that's a nice little chocolatey bundle. I got another chocolate mug. Again, don't sell these on their own. Bundle them. They sell for about five times the value if you bundle them. It's crazy. And I've done really, really well selling them in bundles or three or four for around the £12 mark. A Rayware mug. Disney, not Disney, castles, princesses, dragon. It was just a fun pattern, about a tenner on that one. Now, this is gonna sound crazy, but I sell cookie cutters very, very easily for about 10 pounds plus postage. There's probably seven or so on here. I've got a couple in my room that I just grab when I see them. I will sell it with the ring holder and I get about 15 pounds if I fill this up, so. If you're doing like a filler bag kind of thing or a rummage bag or filler bag in like a charity shop or something, if you see them, grab them. They are do do sell quite well, especially the more vintagey shaped ones. The, this one has a moon. Uh, I'm assuming that's a mushroom. There's a bell. So some Christmas ones in here as well. And there's a rocking horse. The more unique shapes, the better the value. Teacup and saucer. It's unbranded, but it says mother on it. Might be a good Mother's Day kind of gift. People buy these for also candle making. They put candles in them. I also got a Mayfair Mother's uh, Teacup and saucer again. Just a pink rose. They only go for about a fiver plus postage, but they're really easy to ship. China uh, and the glass stuff used to really scare me when shipping it. I've been selling it now for like two years. It's kind of just like, nah, bubble wrap, bubble wrap, bubble wrap, box, 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 done, you know? And I think a lot of people are put off by it because of the, the damage, the shipping worries, you know? Just bomb-proof it. Bomb-proof the packaging. I use double boxes. I triple box things. I use big bubbled bubble wrap. That has been a massive game changer. I never used to use big bubble bubble wrap. And then I was wondering why I was using so much small bubble bubble wrap. It's because I wrap it loads and loads and loads. Uh, there will be some packing videos coming soon to so keep an eye out for them. A spare saucer, Royal Kendall, 1985. I bundle these up for wedding people and you know, that sort of stuff. Right, only bit of clear glass JJ Pyrex. And this, which I think is Pyrex, but it's not marked. It's a lid for a square casserole. Uh, it's not the lid for this, sadly, but I do have a square one. I will see if it fits. But it's not marked as Pyrex, but it looks Pyrex. Like I said, I'm running out of room. 
One of these which I have wanted for ages, and this is to help me photograph plates. I don't have any way nicely to photograph plates, so this is quite good. My only bit of pottery. It's got a H stamp. It's sadly quite crazed, but I'm going to try and sell it anyway for, you know, eight pounds or so. Just a small vase. Some bundle fodder, Minecraft TNT block. I've got a bag of this, uh, like, buildy stuff going that goes for about £15 for a decent amount. And some DVDs. I always grab media and DVDs if I have room. A lot of the time, I don't show you what I grab DVD and media-wise, but I still scan it and still send it to Music Magpie. And I've actually shocked myself at the amount of times that I can pick up, like, ten DVDs and get a fiver for them. And that's my filler bag paid for, and quite a lot of the time, everything else I've picked up paid for as well. So it definitely pays off grabbing them. We got Phantom of the Opera, that'd be a magpie. Disney Pixar's Cars, that'd be Bundle. Cars Toons, Bundle. Planes 2, Bundle. Harry Potter, Les Mis. Cars 2, Bundle, and a Half-Blood Prince. So I'll be bundling the Disney Pixar ones together. I just need find a planes one planes two five yes that's the second one i just need to find a, a planes one and then i've got cars one two and tunes and then planes one and two so about 10 pound probably for the five of them now that's the bag done and that was the bag i filled up today that was three pounds now let's get on to the eggs they're very heavy got all these eggs for 40 pounds there's loads in here let me show you a few of them now I saw them on the table and I was kind of thinking I'm sure I've sold uh, I've sold some eggs about about that size now that is like you know thumb tip size for around the four pound mark before and I was thinking there's some there's some bigger ones in here like you know there's some massive ones Surely they're worth something. So I did a very quick eBay search and I found two types of eggs. I found the kind of African tourist eggs and I found these. Four of these sold for £20 and these are selling for £8 each. And I kind of thought, okay, that's at least... Well, there's one, two, three, four... There's four of them, eight pounds each. That's over, you know, 20 pounds profit. And that's 20 pounds profit as well. So I kind of thought it was a no brainer to grab it for 40 pounds. There's a good amount of stuff in here. You've got some really large, some smaller. You've got some blue eggs, orange eggs. There's all sorts. So I need to do a bit more research into them. And I kind of then need to go through and work out if I'm bundling them, selling them singly, or job lotting. Uh, it's just a mixed bundle. So uh, bundling things like the... Bear with and I'll explain better. So bundling, let's say, the bluer kind of eggs together. But if I'm job lotting, I might just throw in any kind of egg into a job lot that kind of is the same size. There's some damaged ones in here as well, so I need to throw them out. But I'm hoping to get at least £50 profit, possibly £100, we'll see. But that is everything. That's everything I got this week. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go and start listing it all and I'll see you all next week for the next haul video.